I don't know about you, I'm getting a little excited. Yes, it's exciting. Uh, we've been building a PC all week long. Roger's done a great job. And of course, every good PC deserves storage, EGBDS. And so this week, uh, this today rather, we're going to show you how to get the storage into your computer. But let's just recap real quickly. We got the case. We put the motherboard, the CPU, the brains of the deal, the memory in. We also put in the sound card yesterday and we attached speakers. Now we're ready to put in the drives. And now we have several drives. Roger, show yes, us what we've got here. Actually, we actually, before we do that, tell me what tools we need. I just... It's Screw, pretty simple. Screwdriver and maybe something to grab a jumper to. If you've got fat fingers like I do, you sometimes it's nice to have a tweezer. Or a very long we'll show you. spindly fingers okay. like mine. Which are, which are the drives here? We got a Western Digital, and this is actually, believe it or not, this is a 250. 250 gigabytes? And is this an IDE drive? It's an IDE drive, and if you turn it around to the back, or to the back side of the oh, drive. Oh, this back? Yes. The other back. This is the IDE connector where one of these, an IDE cable, this is a rounded kind. And of course, more people are probably accustomed to oh, seeing yeah, one of cables. these, the ribbon yeah. style. This is the same thing, except it's been uh, sliced so it can be wrapped into a uh, more compact uh, form. Now, there's no way to put these in wrong, or is there? No, they're keyed they're, they're right keyed, now, so, so if you force it in the wrong way, it'll break. It won't work. If you have an older drive, the red stripe on the ribbon Always goes to closest the to the power. power supply. That's the old rule of thumb. I don't know if these are going to work. Look where the key is. Yeah, I think these are the wrong cables we got here. Yeah. I don't know what that's for. This one will work just that fine. That one will work. Huh? Should I put it in, or do you want to wait until you we'll get the drive in? We'll wait because we're. Let's okay. move on to our second drive. This over is a here. little bit different, isn't it? It is. That's a serial ATA, and in fact, instead of using one of these big bulky parallel cables, look at cables, the little connector. Has this little uh, connector right here? This little orange one. So that's going to go on that. Now, if you have an older PC, you can actually get a. Uh, a add-on PCI card. In this case, it's a S SIG a PCI serial. But ATA. newer motherboards have the serial newer, connectors Newer on them. MOBOs have it. These run about 30 bucks, so if you just want to retrofit, it's Why would I want to get a serial drive as opposed to an IDE drive? You, you can actually get a greater, you can actually get a greater bandwidth, supposedly. They're through, faster. Th through a serial ATA, but I get it because it's actually, um, the prices are getting very competitive with IDE. Uh -huh. So why not and get the new one? Why not get the new one? Because I know in probably a year's time I'm going to upgrade my, my old PC right. anyway, and I'd rather keep all my, all the parts that I can instead of trying to constantly upgrade from... New drives are faster, tend to be faster They and tend to be anyway. faster. They have larger caches, which means they write, uh, they can read and write at a quicker pace than a, a slower drive maybe three years ago where they had a smaller cache. Why two drives? I use two for security and uh, actually mainly security reasons. If something happens to my first drive, I have everything backed up on mm -hmm. my second hard drive, and it's easier to go back to it than if I had a CD or DVD that I burned out. Even though I do have those, it's just quicker. I do the same thing. I have a second copy always running in the background, making copies of my data over here. So that way, yeah, with no yeah. matter what, you've got not only a copy there, but then the, the backups you make. And as well. you know, there's always a time when uh, something happens to one of the drives. It's you always nice, nice to have. You're that. not down. Not down. You're not down. You may be out, but you're not down. Now, what is this? This is a Sony DRU uh, drive. And oh, you're spending Uncle Paul's money again, it's, aren't you? It's about you know, it's kind of weird because when this first came, it was 300 bucks. You can now find it around for 230. This is a DVD recorder. It's a DVD recorder that supports both the plus R and dash R. W format so and you know, CD burner C CD and burner. CD player CD and DVD player. It's, everything it's everything that you want in a drive for 230 bucks if you want to burn CDs you can if you want to burn DVDs you can if you want to watch movies you can it's great and it's uh, now this is IDE also this is IDE also so there's no serial ATA for there is like no that. serial ATA okay. as of yet okay so you'll use the stand this the, the rounded cables the standard cables standard can rounded. you share this uh, cable with both a CD or DVD burner and a hard drive yes you can and oftentimes when I do that I put the hard drive as a master yeah. and the uh, DVD ROM or the CD drive as a slave uh -huh. and that simply means telling the computer which comes first in the order of booting. Now I've always worried, now maybe tell me if I'm wrong, that if you put the CD on the same chain IDE connector as the uh, hard drive it'll slow the hard drive down a little bit. You know I've heard I'm that. I'm worried about the, that. You know so most people generally you know because of uh, because of that they tend to put on separate channels. I've done it before and I haven't noticed a noticeable. Yeah. Sometimes I'm you have to because you I don't have, have enough. I'm sure there probably is a, a minute or you know difference but you know from day to day from what I've used it I haven't seen it. I defer to you. You're the king. Let's put them in. Let's put them in. Now you did a nice thing when you bought this case. We showed this at the beginning of the week. You got these great cases that make it yeah. really easy to add it's, hard drives. This it's like case a, it's is like a drawer. Great. It's like a drawer. You slide it out 
and you essentially take your drive and you kind of put it on. And on the bottom of the drive, you'll notice these four s s screw holes. Screw holes, and you just simply mount it on the tray. Oh, on the bottom. You don't do it on the on side. On the bottom. And what you come up is, I love having two drives. Too, is uh, <laughs> it? It looks like that. It looks like cooking that. show. Cooking show. And all I have to do is slide it in like it would. Oh, you couldn't my, make that any easier. My drawer. That's awesome. It snaps in. Now, one thing I want to mention is that the power supply on the serial ATA uses a special connector. Josh, our cameraman, liked it. He said, "That's nice." That's good. That's good. <laughs> he said, "That's good." <laughs> Normally, all your you know you're doing well when the crew goes, ooh. All your power, all your power for the power tails for the drives all end out one of these Molex style yes, connectors. Yes, but the serial ATA uses use one that. of these. Uh -huh. So you want to make sure when you get your drive, it either comes with one of these adapters or you can buy one at a store or the motherboard that you buy comes with it because, you know, you're going to have to. So that just translates It the just connector. translates all it right. so you can get it and get power to it. Uh, pretty much the same for putting in the CD or uh, DVD? The, the CD drive is uh, simple. It has to go in the front, though, this, doesn't this it? Because we have to have, have access to it. And what I did was actually I just stuck the rails on either side. Oh, you or put those on ahead of time. These put on ahead of time. Now, by the way, when you do that, I always put them in the wrong spot. So kind of measure I, it before you do I, it. What I do is I put one screw on each one and make sure that it, it's the right hole. Right. And then You also want to make sure it's flush. So, so if, if, yeah. if, if, When you stick it in... It should actually be as close as nice possible job. to the case so it doesn't stick out. Nice job. Now, the only drawback here is we have this nice black case and a white bezel on that. But big deal, you're going to close the lid. Yeah, anyway, and so. it's, you know, I actually prefer the performance over aesthetics. Absolutely. You know, form follows function. My computer sits on the floor, and I doubt at least maybe 75% of the guests I ever have over actually look at it. <laughs> That's true. It's under the, you know, under the desk or you whatever. No, know, some people are into case mining. Some people care, and you know, Yoshi would have taken that drive yes. apart, painted the bezel, and put it back in, but we don't, who has time for that? Yeah, I take the money and buy things like DVDs. And <laughs> hey, we're done. We got the drives in. I got everything. We'll, All we'll I need to do is later. just plug in the power, plug in the cables. All I have to do now is stick in the video card, and when I'm done, I should be able to boot up, and it should tell me I need to install an OS because I can't find uh, These drives are completely blank, so you'll have to format, partition blank. and format them. And the beauty is with XP, it actually automatically does it if you're kind of uh, new to that. You just say, install for me. And we'll see that it. tomorrow. Yes. Well, we're going to do that. We'll partition tomorrow and format. We'll, we'll, we'll do that as quickly as possible when we uh, slam in the... Uh, He's brave. He's brave. Tomorrow, the suspense is huge here. Tomorrow, these are, he's not only going to get the video working, he's going to install the operating system, and before the end of the show tomorrow, boot! These are completely blank. They're blank. There's nothing up. Nothing up. Show us uh, anything up here. I have, I have nothing up my sleeve. Even nothing. Though There's buttons. no operating system up his sleeve. Nothing, nothing. Nothing, see? No lines, no injuries, no nothing. <laughs> George, our producer, is going in, in my ear. Will we have time to do that? Will we have time to do that? Well, probably not in the break, but we could probably follow along for the show. Well, we'll start. Maybe we'll start a little early. Yes, all right. we can do that. If you want to know more about building a PC, our website has it all. TechTV.com slash call for help. Coming up, a free file.